Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another day of A Year in Miracles. And today we are on A Course in Miracles workbook lesson number 98. I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. Today is a day of special dedication. We take a stand on but one side today. We side with truth and let illusions go. We will not vacillate between the two, but take a firm position with the one. We dedicate ourselves to truth today and to salvation as God planned it to be. We will not argue it is something else. We will not seek for it where it is not. In gladness, we accept it as it is and take the part assigned to us by God. How happy to be certain. All our doubts we lay aside today and take our stand with certainty of purpose and with thanks that doubt is gone and surety has come. We have a mighty purpose to fulfill and have been given everything we need with which to reach the goal. Not one mistake stands in our way. Not one mistake. For we have been absolved from errors. All our sins are washed away by realizing they were but mistakes. The guiltless have no fear, for they are safe and recognize their safety. They do not appeal to magic, nor invent escapes from fancied threats without reality. They rest in quiet certainty that they will do what is given them to do. They do not doubt their own ability because they know their function will be filled completely in the perfect time and place. They took the stand which we will take today that we may share their certainty and thus increase it by accepting it ourselves. They will be with us. All who took the stand we take today will gladly offer all that they learned and every gain they made. Though still uncertain, too, will join with us and, borrowing our certainty, will make it stronger still. While those as yet unborn will hear the call we heard and answer it when they have come to make their choice again. We do not choose but for ourselves today. It is, is it not worth five minutes of your time each hour to be able to accept the happiness that God has given you? Is it not worth five minutes hourly to recognize your special function here? Is it not, is not five minutes but a small request to make in terms of gaining a reward so great it has no measure? You have made a thousand losing bargains at the least. Here is an offer guaranteeing you your full release from pain of every kind and joy the world does not contain. You can exchange a little of your time for peace of mind and certainty of purpose with the promise of complete success. And since time has no meaning, you are being asked for nothing in return for everything. Here is a bargain that you cannot lose, and what you gain is limitless indeed. Each hour today, give him your tiny gift of but five minutes. He will give the words you use in practicing today's idea, the deep conviction and the certainty you lack. His words will join with yours and make each repetition of today's idea a total dedication. Made in faith, as perfect and as sure as his in you. His confidence in you will bring the light to all the words you say, and you will go beyond their sound to what they really mean. Today you practice with him as you say, I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. In each five minutes that you spend with him, he will accept your words and give them back to you, all bright with faith and confidence, 
so strong and steady, they will light the world with hope and gladness. Do not lose one chance to be the glad receiver of his gifts that you may give them to the world today. Give him the words and he will do the rest. He will enable you to understand your special function. He will open up the way to happiness and peace and trust will be his gifts, his answer to your words. He will respond with, with all his faith and joy and certainty that what you say is true and you will have conviction then of him who knows the function that you have on earth as well as in heaven. He will be with you each practice period you share with him, exchanging every instant of time you offer him for timelessness and peace. Throughout the hour, let your time be spent in happy preparation for the next five minutes you will spend again with him. Repeat today's idea while you wait for the glad time to come to you again. Repeat it often and do not forget each time you do so. You have let your mind be readied for the happy time to come. And when the hour goes and he is there once more to spend a little time with you, be thankful and lay down all earthly tasks, all little thoughts and limited ideas, and spend a happy time again with him. Tell him once more that you accept the part that he would have you take and help you fill. And he will make you sure you want this choice, which he has made with you and you with him. And that is today's workbook lesson for today. A Course in Miracles workbook lesson number 98. I will accept my part in God's plan for salvation. So that is our lesson today, guys. Nice to see you all here on the live feed this morning. Hope you are all enjoying this wonderful Monday morning. So glad to see you here today. So, uh, hey, Mark, good to see you here. And Cindy, it looks like Cindy is here. And Bob, good morning, Mark. Yes, good morning, everyone. Good to see you here this morning. Hey, Colette, nice to see you. And Dan is back from his wonderful trip. I uh, love to see all of your beautiful pictures that you posted on Facebook. Good morning, Bob. It's a gloomy morning for you, Cindy. Gloomy, but good. Yes. Hey, Sayed. Good evening from Indonesia. Things are great here. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is um, what I'm reading is a book called A Course in Miracles. So we're reading the 365 lessons from the workbook. And uh, there's another whole text that you guys can read. It's filled with amazing information. But what I found over the years of facilitati facilitating my Course in Miracles study group was that people were reading the text and coming to my study group, but they weren't doing the lessons. And the lessons are really where you see the change come through your life. And it's it's just amazing. It's amazing the, uh, the effects that the lessons have when you do the lessons. So uh, good morning, Nell from the Netherlands. Nice to have you join again this morning. And uh, happy Monday, Cumberly, happy Monday. Hey, Kyle, you're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania today. Thanks for joining from Pittsburgh. Uh, good morning, Pam. Nice to see you here. Hi, sweetheart. Now, my son, the sunshine is kind of coming through the, uh, the blinds today and hitting on my face as I'm doing this live feed. Um, but it's nice that it's a nice sunny morning here for me. Good morning, Lori. Great to see you here on the live feed. Hey, Kim. Good to see you here this morning. Good morning, Kamal. Great to see you here. And Claire, yay, I love this lesson too. I know there's such good reminders of, uh, you know, the truth and, and how powerful we really are. Uh, in Indonesia, it's Monday night. Yeah, good evening, Sayed. Nice to see you here in the evening. Uh, but that's it. And just a reminder, I am going to be visiting my daughter for the next uh, seven days, starting tomorrow in Los Angeles. And of course, there's a three hour time difference. So my uh, Facebook Lives are going to be later in the day for everybody who's on the East Coast. Um, so I will be posting in our private Facebook group to let you guys know when I'll be going live. So check that. Uh, tomorrow morning, however, is going to be very, very early because I will be on my way to the airport when I do the live feed tomorrow morning. So I'm thinking maybe 5.45 a.m. or 6 a.m. So 
For you early birds out there, I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning with our next Facebook lesson. All right. Have a great day, guys, and uh, thanks for joining again. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye.